This is a New Haven thing too, Fox and Park Soda. White Birch, if oh. You, now White Birch is the traditional, what you what you have with- With pizza. With, with New Haven pizza. With New Haven it's pizza. It's like a thing. I did not know that, Personally, Al. I like the cherry, but White Birch and New Haven uh, pizza go hand in hand. It's kind of like pizza and a Manhattan special in New York. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Or Coke and a slice, right. Guys, first on the list is the White Clam Pizza here. Now I've tried this pizza, at their Yonkers location. I'm gonna tell you right now, based on looks alone, this looks night and day in comparison to the one I had over there. The crust, mainly. Toppings-wise, it looks similar, but I I, I heard that they pre-shuck the clams here, unlike Zupardi's. Yes. So, uh, it, I, I, it's like I, I would say, Zupardi's, they don't shuck the clam until, the, until they get the order for the pizza. Exactly, that's a big difference. Oh my goodness. Look how light and airy that is. That is absolutely what I wanted to see and hear when I folded this bad boy. Beautiful undercarriage, classic New Haven char. Absolutely, absolutely. That is what I want to see. Big hey, clam fan. Mm. Good exterior crunch. Good exterior crunch with a delicate chew in the center. It's not like you gotta chew it a million times. It's very delicate. That's the thing about and it's a, it's because it's a naturally fermented. They let that dough. they let the dough ferment longer so they can cook it at a higher temperature in the oven. Exactly. You can't cook uh, a quick rising dough in a high heat oven. It would just burn. This is not burnt, guys. A lot of people who come to New Haven, they're like, yeah, I don't like it. It looks burned. It's burned. It's not burned. It's char. It's char. It tastes, it tastes bitter, not burned. There's a big difference between bitter and burned. And when you eat pizza, that bitterness goes well with a sweet sauce. So if you like sweet sauce, the tomato and that bitter combination is just unmatched, in my opinion. And this came from an oven that is how old? Oh, jeez. Uh, well, 25 was when they opened the first location, and I think they were, I think that one is like from the, from the 30s. Mm. You know what I just noticed in here for the first time? It tells you that this is a, an originally Italian-American neighborhood. Bocce court. Guys, there's a bocce court in this park. Now you know you're in Little Italy. <laughs> you are in Little Italy when there's a bocce court in the neighborhood. There it is. <laughs> mm. um, birch beer, folks. Birch beer. You got to have birch beer with your New Haven style pizza. Fox and Park birch beer. Although, I prefer the cherry. If That's they don't the have brand. The, if they don't carry the, the cherry. The factory is local. It is bottled close right by. Here. Yeah, close by. Bottled in, in, in uh, East Haven, Connecticut. Um, it does taste just like root beer exactly like root beer i actually like it i think it's a little maybe different there is there may be a difference a i'm not a soda guy yeah so i don't know you know i don't really know I'm, i am a soda i like I so like you do junk food. there is a difference between it's a little bit of difference i think that that it, when you get a when you get a root beer there's more foam right and there's i think root beer some root beers can taste a little more depending on the root right beer. this doesn't have the the, the soda fizz it, it, it's not as Oh, fizzy less bitter i think some some i've had some root beers that are that are a little bitter interesting i want to hear what you have to say about about this now al is allergic to clams he can't have this unfortunately uh but i'm going to compare it to the clam pizzas that i've tasted in new york i've had not many but i've had some enough to know just how good this one is guys so let's move on in into the lab we go guys the clams are pre-shucked they're not hand shucked before baking and that's a huge minus but, however, that doesn't mean they're dry or, uh, uh, they're not the briniest clams in the world. This isn't a Zupati's clam pie. But they're, they're moist. They're not, you know, they're not little pieces of cardboard. You do taste that seafood. Uh, not on par uh, with the, the Zupati's pie, but nevertheless, uh, it's a pretty decent clam pie. And, uh, the clams are chopped, guys. They're not whole. Some pieces are bigger than others. But for the most part, they're chopped clams. The flavor on this pie is through the roof because of that immense carpet bombing 
of grated cheese that they put on there. I presume it's Parmigiano or Pecorino. Yeah, this pie is, uh, it's, it's, There's it's a olive lot of oil, it. Yeah. garlic, Parmesan, oregano, and oregano, and and the uh, and the clams and the olive oil. Yep, the olive oil. Too. And he, there's almost a crust of cheese on this. You can almost see that it, there's a almost like a layer of it, but it's not mozzarella, folks. It's grated cheese. They put so much of it on there that it kind of forms a little. Uh, it, it, it it appears to be like a, a thick layer of cheese. Yeah. It's, it's very thick and, and very salty, guys. And the generous amount of herbs that they put on this thing, it is generously topped with herbs. Um, I'm picking out oregano, and as you can see there, guys, you can see, uh, there's, you can see the stems. I mean, there's huge, huge pieces of oregano leaves on this pizza, and it really works so well with this type of pie. Um, uh, unlike other pies, most clam pizzas that I have in New York, have parsley on it. Oh, really? And chives. They all do it. At it's Lombardi's. A yeah, I mean, I, I've had it nachos recently, which is one of the most underrated pizzas in Brooklyn, in my opinion. And, and But it does so well because it's right next door to Grimaldi's and Giuliana's. Ah, see. That's so, a funny thing. Nobody yeah. heard of it, but it's there. And they offer slices. And they catch over, they, where they catch the overload that, that can't they, get into right. Grimaldi's or, or the. Uh, yeah, that's you, that. You think that's dumb to open up next to a big place? It's not. But yeah. Abate's, Abate's is right next right. door to Pepe's, and he does well he because does he's well feeding off because he's the you know the, the people that are in line that can't get into Pepe's or Sally's, mm -hmm. they'll go into Abate's. Right. right and right. If, yeah, you're not getting Pepe's or Sally's, right. but you know what? Uh, uh, a B, a B pizza in New Haven, is like a you know an oh, A plus anywhere yeah. else. Peaches cold, guys. It's still crackling. Look at that. Look at that, guys. And, you know, you can't really fold a New Haven slice, but uh, they're thin. And look at that. Look at that, guys. This thing is not flopping. It's very firm, retaining its shape. This crust is one of the best, guys. Look at that color. That's the color you want to see. That's what I want to see when I open a pizza box. Uh, I don't know exactly how long they ferment this dough. I'm, just, I'm assuming it's for quite a bit of time and yeah it, it's not a high hydration though it doesn't appear to be again do your own research guys but it, it reminds me of the the crust at uh uh pizzeria jove in staten island almost like a ciabatta a ciabatta texture to it in terms of clam pies this rating is going to go on the specialty scale uh it is a white clam pie after all so Better than the Yonkers location. The crust is so much better. You cannot compare the two ovens. I mean, we're talking a like hundred plus years worth of seasoning uh, from that coal oven. So, uh, this gets an 8-9 out of 10. Absolutely an 8-9. One of the best clam pizzas I've ever had. Not, a, not on par with the Zupati's pizza, but the flavor. I really love the saltiness from all that grated cheese. Generously herbed. Uh, but not as briny as the Zupati's pie. Eight nine, still a classic. Highly recommended. Let's go try the margarita, folks. Any other reason? Uh, the reason for not Pepe's, but the New Haven way of cutting pizza slices. Yeah, pizza pies. What is the reason? I'm dying to know. Well, I I only see Pepe's and Sally's do it, but the reason that I was told. I mean, was, this looks like the New Haven way of cutting yeah. pizza. It, I, I've seen. Yeah. So the thing is is after you have a couple of slices, maybe you're not as hungry as you were, but you want one more slice, but you don't want a whole slice. So you get one of the little slices. You get That's one a the, good point. You get one of the thin. So if you have like one or two, three slices and you're, you're almost full, but you're not quite full, but you want one more slice, you go for <laughs> one of the small ones. I kind of like that because sometimes I feel that way and it's like, oh, I can't do another slice. Yeah. But now, you know, when you cut them like this, it's okay to go and grab another one if you're still a little hungry. Yeah, you know you're still I mean? a little hungry, still want a little more. <laughs> and you get a wide one, and sometimes you get a little one. Yeah, and, exactly. And every every cut has a purpose. So if you have a late lunch, you get a little bambino. Right, right, the bambino, the little baby. Crust looks phenomenal, yeah. guys. It's cheese and sauce spread to the very edge. An abundance of sauce, look at that. They don't skimp out. This is the Pepe's Margarita, which it doesn't look anything like the Lombardi's pie. First of all, the crust is different. Lombardi's is a little, little fluffier in the, in the center. It's a little thicker. 
This is very thin. I've never gotten a, a, a margarita from, from Pepe's. I and love what, margarita. And what I like is they shredded the basil. Yeah, so sometimes basil. they put the, the whole leaves on the pie and you take a bite and you end up eating the whole leaf of the basil in one bite. And then the rest of your slice doesn't have any basil on it. Good point. I like that they shredded the basil so you can get a little bit yeah, you know, with each bite. Yeah, I, like, I prefer it this way as well as I'm, I really do. And I like basil raw on the pizza as opposed to cook. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. It looks better, and, you, and the basil just uh, you taste it, you know. Now, uh, the way the cheese is splotched on is very similar to Lombardi's. Uh, that's yep. the old way of doing it. They splotch it on in cubes. Yeah. And the sauce on the margarita always takes the front seat over the cheese this is the way it is guys if you're a cheese guy order the cheese pizza if you're a sauce guy like i am that's why i always go for the margaritas so let me dive in uh, nice separation you don't get that mozzarella stretch like you would on a cheese did pizza. you know that's what this is for i just learned that recently uh, that's the uh, that's to save it from the, the the you know what else is for let's say you got two slices and they're stuck together you hold it down with that and you pull with the other one Oh, I always thought that was for it safe. is to keep to keep, to keep the lid the, off to keep the lid off. But also, ah. if you want, if these two slices are connected by it. some cheese, Look at that. you hold this one down and you pull on that one. You learn something new every day. I, listen, <laughs> I was like, I learned that this year, and I've been eating pizza my whole life. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Pardon the wind, guys. We're not using the mic for this review, so if it's windy. Uh, please forgive the, the audio quality here. Uh, Al does not have, uh, I don't have a separate mic for Al. Margarita, Pepe's, got the birch, got the birch soda going, the Fox white birch. Park. Fox and Park, a local company here in New Haven. Little flop there. Little flop, it's the way they cut the slices too. The little New Haven flop. Yeah, it's yeah. the New Haven flop. It's the way they cut them. Perhaps if the slices were wider, I bet you this pizza wouldn't flop. I bet you this pizza's not gonna flop right here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. No flop. And there yeah. you go. Then you grab some then of you them. you grab one and you're short, short, and you got no flop. Some of them uh, flop. It depends on the size of the slice. And I think that pizza's a little wider. That slice yep. is a little wider, and uh, it's not flopping. All right, let's go. It smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that sauce. You hear that crunch? That sauce That's is not, very rich. Yeah. The that, pizza overall is very rich. Not bad for sitting in a box for a little bit. Pizza was sitting in a box for a little bit. Be fair. Mm. I'm enjoying this. Monster Crisp pulls it back. It, 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 they, they claim to be... They Sam, advertise... They advertise Sam it as San Marzano, but Al is skeptical. We're going to find out why. Here's why. San Marzano tomatoes come from the base of Mount Vesuvius. Right. The, with the, the, they're, they're grown in the soil that is combined with the, with the sulfur from the volcano. Volcanic ash. Yep. Now, that patch of real estate is only so big. Oh. Right, right at the table. <laughs> That patch of real estate is only so big, and they can only make so many tomatoes. Now, if you go to your local grocer and you go down the tomato sauce mm -hmm. aisle, you're gonna see San Marzano, San Marzano, San Marzano, San Marzano. Mm -hmm. How many tomatoes are coming out of that little piece of, that little <laughs> piece of land? I mean, everywhere, it's like, it's like a catchphrase now. Right. So we got San Marzano. Yeah, it is a lot of money now, involved. I've seen a couple of news reports that the mafia in Italy controls certain things that get exported. Mm -hmm. One of them being olive oil. This news report I saw basically says extra virgin olive oil that it's imported from Italy that we see in here uh, in mm -hmm. our stores is an extra virgin olive oil. Mm. It's apparently alleged that the mafia mm -hmm. controls it. They don't let it leave the country. Right. They keep it to themselves. Now, makes sense. You're but telling that, me that being said, though, the sauce really oh, is. Listen, it's good regardless. A standout. Whether it's San Marzano or not, it's great sauce. Naturally sweet. You got even chunks. Look at that. You can see pulp. You can see some pulp right there. 
you know it's not a silky sauce it's on the chunkier side uh not exactly chunky like the fara but chunky nonetheless a uh, very uh, tasty and it is it seems as if they do sprinkle some of that grated stuff on there see that guys that's all hard cheese right there look at that very salty a lot of it uh, for a margarita pie this is a little on the salty side and uh i'm not complaining folks <laughs> and the cheese look at that cheese fresh mozzarella and it's not that low quality stuff that sometimes tends to harden up as it cools down it yeah. becomes it looks like plastic and stuff like that if greasy. you watch my reviews guys you you know what i'm talking about this is still very milky very milky high milk content on that that's why I, right I, I, high, high milk content no, yep. no grease on here very little grease look at the wax paper there's hardly any oil spots which is uh you know typical when you eat margarita pizza you get you know less cheese less oil uh i assume they they drizzle some olive oil onto this thing i don't know but look at that sauce guys when it comes to margaritas the sauce is why you order them look at those chunks of tomatoes listen i have to invite you back here because when the tomatoes are in season pepe's will advertise on the billboards on 95 the tomatoes are in season and they wow. offer a season only tomato pie that you gotta let me know Al. I'm I'll coming. let you know i'll try to come down again the tomato pie in <laughs> season they don't and they only offer that pie when the tomatoes are in season i love to summer. hear that in jersey there's a pizza called uh, pizza artigianale razza yeah and they're the same way the, the ingredients change with, with you know in accord to the season yeah. uh so I, I love to hear that stuff uh, the basil was all right not the most pungent basil but it, 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 i'd rather have it there than not this crust is legendary guys look at that color that's a good under perfect leoparding i think not if you think this is burned then uh oh this is <laughs> this is not burned this is i would always almost say medium rare yeah this is medium <laughs> yeah this is not a well uh on by, the well done side by by new haven yeah. standards but yeah but by new there's, haven standards there's guys. only one piece here that really has yeah. char on it right and that's hardly any char that's that's not even real char yeah. i really enjoyed this pizza and it blew me away uh the sauce really uh really hit me so i'm gonna give it a rating okay ladies and gentlemen it's about that time to uh rate this pizza this pizza was one of the best margaritas that i've ever had period the sauce probably top three ever san marzano chunky pulpy bursting with that fruity tomato flavor amazing tomato sauce quality mozzarella a carpet bombing of grated cheese encrusted on the pizza between those splotches of fresh mozzarella decent basil and a fantastic crust the pepe's crust is one of the best guys perfect blend of uh, exterior crunch and delicate chew in the middle it needs to be eaten out of the oven 9.2 for this baby delicious pizza delicious pizza so uh i totally recommend it uh a lot of people skip this pizza uh over you know the cheese stuff and believe it or not uh not many places in new haven offer margaritas is that correct or? it's not a big the big thing in in new haven the most i would say the most popular pie is simply what they call the tomato pie mm -hmm. which is you know it's it's your it's your sauce and it's a, a very light dusting of cheese right and it's you know it's it's a poor man's pie because when you think about the the three main ingredients of a pizza dough sauce and cheese cheese is the most expensive right. so so as as a as kind of a uh, you know a, a poor man's pizza it's less cheese so you have i've had it at there. sally's yesterday i actually just posted the review i enjoyed that's, it to hell that's that's and that's where i love I, I i my main pizza go-to is the tomato pie with a little bit of a little more and then a extra little, parmesan extra. no actually I, I like it with light very light mousse very light mozzarella is how i enjoy my, my pizza that's why you don't see the margaritas in new haven too much because they specialize with in tomato pies here which is similar you know the pizza style is uh emphasizes on sauce more than cheese you get a little dusting of parmesan you could ask for it uh the way al orders it which is you know light mozzarella 
And it's kind of like a margarita in a sense, uh, the tomato pie. Not, not exactly a margarita, but it's what is popular here. And that's why you don't see too many margarita style pizzas offered here, which is kind of interesting given that Pepe is from Naples and you know, the, the margaritas, that's what they specialize in over there. But uh, this was a freaking good one, guys. I totally recommend it. Thanks for watching. And thanks for Al for joining me and offering uh, his knowledge on pizza culture here in New Haven. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that like. And until next time, this is Antonio and Al signing off.